Uh, what exactly are the treasures of Nimrud? I, I like to call them the, sort of the Tiffany treasure because they're so beautiful. These are genuinely gorgeous, lustrous gold artifacts, primarily gold artifacts, uh, which were discovered over the course of three digging seasons, 88 through 90, in northern Iraq, the ancient Assyrian capital of Nimrud. They are the burial artifacts of a number of Assyrian queens. Commonly, it's referred to that they were the burial artifacts of four Assyrian queens. Actually, there are a lot more burials than uh, just merely four Assyrian queens. The uh, rarely in Assyria do you see a sort of communal burials, but you actually do witness that there. So, yeah, there were four Assyrian queens there. Their precise identities, we, we think we know three of them, but there were other uh, individuals buried along with them, some related by blood, others probably um, by sort of some court relationship. But the artifacts were clearly of a sort of regal dimension, beautiful golden crowns, I mean, uh, over a kilogram in, in weight of just solid gold. But forgetting the weight, I mean, it's the actual quality of the craftsmanship that really sets the, these objects apart. They're genuinely quite utterly exquisite. And also, um, just from the terms of their sort of technical perfection, when the photographs of the material were first started getting properly circulated in the mid-1990s, I mean, people were just astounded that the technology and the sophistication of the workmanship, because, you know, frankly, they didn't think these objects could be made for perhaps another three or four hundred years. So the craftsmanship was of a caliber which was in many ways just completely unexpected because it was uh, of such a, a high grade. A lot of amulet necklaces, rings, other kinds of personal adornments, uh, also a large number of exquisite gold bowls, a beautiful small golden beaker. It's quite a, a stunning collection of materials, approximately 650-odd artifacts. I think the total weight in gold is almost 175 pounds. It's an extraordinary amount of, uh, of unbelievably beautiful, lustrous materials. Well, aside from their beauty and the fact they're made of gold, are there other reasons for which this collection is important? It really shifted the comprehension we've had of who these Assyrians were. I mean, when you look at the writings on you know, the walls and the bas-reliefs uh, from Nineveh and Nimrod, and you also look at some of the parallel accounts from the Bible, this is all about the portrait of a people who are extraordinarily you know, ferocious and oriented towards war and dominance. It's a real sort of culture of machismo. But with these objects, you suddenly go, well, wait a minute. There's clearly an aesthetic dimension to the lived lives of these people, which has escaped the historical accounts, which are much more about implying and demonstrating the bravado and macho of these people propagandistic sort of accounts which we have today. It, it requires a refitting of our expectations of the nature of Assyrian culture. Also, very importantly, it does something which very, very rarely happens in the ancient world, which is it provides us a window into the lives of women. Now, admittedly, these are women of exceptional power and clout, but nevertheless, that's right, they're, they're women, and as we know all too often, you know, the history of the ancient world is very much told through a very male-centered vision of things. And here we're looking at the material remains of very powerful women, not of the remains of powerful men. And there's something very refreshing about that. You know, I understand this collection disappeared. Did it really disappear? Uh, and what were some of the rumors about what happened to it? So I really didn't know if it was safe and intact back then in the early 90s. By the late 1990s, I managed to sort of get a little better sourced in terms of my relationships with uh, Iraqi archaeologists. And it became clear then that the material actually was almost certainly safe, intact, and squirreled away in the depths of the uh, Iraqi central bank in, in Baghdad. 